hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to maintain work center shift sequence in sap so first i show you uh, inside the work center where you can maintain the shifts under the capacities capacity tab go to interval and shift there you have the column called shift so no values found because i have not maintained anything so first we, you need to configure the relevant shift so go to spro path and sap reference img under production go to capacity requirement planning operation available capacity define shift sequence there you need to uh, define four things first group work break schedule likewise first I'll define the group is just a grouping so give the group name any group name you want I give Z2 shift let's say company one or anything you want okay and then you mark the mark that group Z2 and then go to second one work break schedule here you need to define the breaks which relevant to your shifts to uh, better explain the situations I will explain the this scenario to you right uh, let's assume your company has two shifts the shift one is from 8 to 6 p.m. Uh, shift one two breaks 12 to 1 lunch 3 45 to 4 3. shift 2 2 start from 18 to 4 breaks uh, 21 to 22 it means uh, 9 to 10 dinner and 2 45 to 3 morning tea so that one the last one should be this should be dinner right I'll change it okay now I'm going to configure the relevant breaks for shift 1 so give a meaningful name I'll give a B let's say S1 shift 1 B R it means shift 1 breaks so start from 12 to 1 here I give the sequence I can define a number of breaks using a counter my second break same under the shift sequence 1 I'll give my tea time from 3.45 to 4 ok so these are the two breaks which relevant to shift 1 now I define the breaks for shift 2 as well here you can define any number of breaks 21 to 22 and 245 to 3 likewise okay now click on next one shift definition and press new entries here under my configurations and in under my scenario I have two shifts right so shift one I'll say the day shift maybe you can have four shifts maybe three shifts likewise right so shift one day shift start date uh, I give the today's date starting from 8 and finish at and 16 so here no values found means because I didn't save the previous uh, configuration right so here yeah, I press save and give a meaningful name to the TR define work center shifts and I save it now it shows the values so the shift one first one and second one are the relevant breaks so I select it if I enter see my working hours is 8.75 right 
it reduces the brakes. So SST2 is my nice shift. Start from 18 to 4 a.m. in the morning. Right? Here also I select the brakes. If you select one item, it uh, gather the all the brakes relevant to that sequence. So the third one is shift sequence. Here I give a name, any name you can give. Let's say PP1 and PP2. This is my sequence. Give the description shift one and shift two. For I for week I have seven days. So for first day I say I have shift one and shift two. Okay. And let's say second day also third day fourth fifth I have shift one. Let's say second day I don't have shift 2, third day I have shift 2, fourth, fifth I have the shift 2. 6 and 7 are not my working day, so I define like this. Right? Okay, I save that one. Now the configuration part has done. Now if I go to the work center change window under capacities, first you should select the relevant grouping which you created now okay this is very important you need to select this active version otherwise it will the, the production orders uh, and scheduling it will pick the standard available capacity so select active version and then go to the interval and shift press the interval give the value from date today or any date and end date also you can give right now select the shift sequence uh, select the first one so press enter see now Monday I have two shifts and Tuesday only one shift according to my shift sequence right see Two shifts, one shift, two shift, one shift, two shift, likewise. See the here the operation time also reduced according to the breaks. So that's it. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.